Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to be talking about bottom-up meshing using pointwise. Bottom-up meshing simply means that we start at the geometry, we put connectors on the geometry, we use those connectors to build domains, and we build out from this initial geometry. Here's how that might look. We select the body, we put connectors on. I'm going to turn off the database so it's easy to see the connectors. We select all the connectors and dimension them. And now we use the connectors to create domains. Following a similar procedure, I have already created a far field. With the far field in place and this inner body, I can create a block. Now all we need to do is to initialize the block and the mesh is complete. Pointwise though has some tools to help automate some of these processes to make them much simpler faster and easier. Here I have the same database as before, but rather than just put connectors on straight away, I'm going to go to the defaults and set a default connector length. Then I'm going to select the database and choose the domains on database entities button. Now I have a domain and connectors already put on. Rather than build the far field manually by hand, I can select the domains and use the build blocks function to create a block. Now, all we have to do is initialize and we have a completed mesh. One of the big advantages of bottom-up meshing is that we can change anything throughout the process. If we wanted more refinement on these connectors, we could do that simply by selecting them and changing the dimension. You can see that the domains update immediately. We could do similar operations on any connector in the far field or on this body to change the dimension or the distribution. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.